Oh, hi. Welcome to the Jordan Michael Tuesday show this week. I'm glad to have you. I'm trying to make this quick. Right now we've got cleaning day going on and uh, the cleaning lady is coming in. And I just kind of don't want to be in the same room while she's in here. I'm just trying to set up everything for her. I don't know how to say this. It's just the way she says things is just kind of irritating. It kind of gets under your skin. So I just, I'd rather just kind of get this ready for her and make sure she's not the same. Are you still in here? Well, I'm right in the middle of doing the show. Well, hurry up. Well, our, our verse for today is... Uh, yeah, spit it out. Well, it's right here. It's um, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh tongue stirs up anger. Okay, you took enough time now. Well, I gotta admit, there are some times where uh, my anger can get a little stirred up. You need to work on that problem. Uh, okay, uh, I've noticed. And if this isn't enough of an illustration, well, then our cameras caught up with Brenda and Tom, who were playing in the sandbox. I would I think I would have gladly given her her side of the sandbox. I didn't know I was even on it. But the way she said it made me want to pour sand straight on top of her head. I'd rather share a sandbox with a cat. If I'm going to get him to listen, I'm going to have to get ugly. Get back on your side right now. Do not pour that on my head. I repeat, I'm gonna do pour not it. pour that on my head. And then pour it straight on your head. He's getting ready to pour the sand on my head. If I'm going to get him to listen, I'm going to have to get badder, call mom, and get my own dirt. I'm going to call mom. No, I'm going to call mom. I'm going to dump this dirt on your head. No, I'm going to dump this all over your head. I'm going to put this dirt clot in my mouth. No, I'm going to eat the biggest clot of dirt you ever saw. I'm sitting there with a huge clot of dirt, and I'm thinking, I'm getting ready to have to eat this huge clot of dirt because I said I would. And then I remembered a gentle answer. Brenda, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was on your side of the sandbox. But maybe, do you mind just asking me nicely to move next time? Yeah, sure. Thanks. One of us needed to humble ourselves and change the tone of the conversation and I thought, might as well be him. What? Okay, 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 I'll try better next time. You know, a gentle answer is really about honoring each other. And honoring each other is just a way that we love our neighbor as ourselves. We want to speak the truth, but just as importantly, we want to speak the truth in love. A harsh answer can make someone feel belittled or disrespected. But a gentle answer can make a husband feel respected, a wife feel loved and cherished, a friend feel close, and parents and their children feel honored and not provoked. Now between breaks, the uh, cleaning lady decided to quit and take another job somewhere else. So they're sending somebody else in and I, well, I hope we get along better. Out of my way, I'm gonna clean up this pig stuff. Oh boy. So you're watching the Jordan Michael Tuesday Show. Be sure and subscribe. Or I'll hit you with my mom. Uh, no, that's not what we were going to do, but while you're here, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think, and uh, just if you're looking for a way to support us, just pass it on. Thanks a lot. God bless, and see you next Tuesday. That's good. Yeah, that's good.